in several different um, configurations. This particular one, 50,000 have been sold. But since its debut 17 years ago, I mean, we've really sold about, what, half a million of these particular Closer to brush. a million. Okay, to closer them. to a million. I wasn't here 17 years ago. He was. Yeah. <laughs> That's a long time, and this item is still here. That's got to say something. It sure does. Th this is something that, if you've never seen a rubber broom, we discovered it, you know, decades ago. It was mostly used in Europe and Australia. Hair salons were using it. Ah. Super for hair, because all these little rubber tips actually grip what it's coming in contact with, and we, we've refined it over the years. So we put these wide flaps on the back, which gets to really fine things like salt, sugar. The original ones didn't have a squeegee on the back. We've added a squeegee, and we include the pet brush with it for furniture, car seats, clothing, and your pet. Now, let me show you how it works real simple. Please. I'm gonna start down here in the hardwood floor. If you've got a house full of hardwood and you have a straw broom or a nylon broom, you sweep, you sweep, you sweep, and if you walk with your bare feet, you're still gonna find some. Yeah, you go, yeah, now brush watch. it off, right? When I sweep this hardwood floor, I've got pet hair. You can't even see the pet hair up here. I've got sugar, I've got rice, rice. down here. Now watch, I'm gonna just go over this area one time. Uh, okay. Wow. <laughs> I'll do this side as well, just to show you. You notice how everything goes in a perfectly straight line, because here's what happens, so simple. The rubber fingers, 500 little rubber fingers here that are flexible, what they do is they come together to form a wall. The dirt can't get through that. And just in case, we put the wide flaps on the back. Now outside, if you want to, use this as a push broom on your deck, your sidewalk, your garage. Inside, I always pull it pull towards back. me so you don't flick any dust in the air. Perfectly clean. There's I was never hoping you would do that because I don't see yeah. with my naked eye anything <laughs> right. up there. Okay. Here you go, not a single crumb. My now, goodness. Now, take a look at the rug over here. Okay, so hardwoods and rugs? <laughs> yeah, if you, if you, everybody's got a vacuum, I understand that. Some people have two or three vacuums. Yeah, you, you sell you a lot of them well. here. That's not, what, this isn't for wall-to-wall -wall carpet. If you've got an area rug, maybe your dog lies down in one area, no. use this with a short brushing stroke. It kind of works like the beater bar on a vacuum cleaner. Okay. You see how that works? Yeah, now, you just took everything off that carpet and made it clean Here's again. the difference. Come out here to the, the, the QVC floor. I want to show you something. When I sweep a, a smooth surface, I just go ahead and sweep. There's your hair. Now you can see why hair salons love this broom. Yes, they sweep my the entire gonna floor love this in a couple of swipes. Now, back to the rug. Okay. I'm not going to sweep on the carpet. On the carpet, I actually brush. That way. So the, you're picking up, picking up, picking yeah, up. Yeah, like you basically roll it. If you try to sweep the rug, you're not going to get very I much. I see what you just see? did. So that's why you want to basically rake it like you're raking leaves off the carpet. Okay. Now, the same way I got the hair off the carpet. Take a look at this. Ooh, this I'm is, glad you did that, not me. <laughs> this isn't my favorite job, but if you've got pets, it's going to be shedding season. They're going to blow out that summer coat for their winter coat. Is that coat. real pet hair? It is. It, well, it's, it's pet hair. It's human hair. You know, I, I go to like the, where they groom the dogs. I get bags of hair. It's pretty nasty. Do they I know. think you're a creep? The, they're that like, what are really you doing? Weird. Are you planting a garden? <laughs> I'm like, not this time of the year. <laughs> now, but here's the point. These rubber fingers are the same that's on the broom. They grip the hair, they break the static charge that the hair has with your clothes. Now, before you get that much hair on you, use it on your pets. It's soft. It doesn't rip the hair out. It's really soft. I'm going to give Chaz Dean one of these. Can I have one? I'm going to give it to sure. Chaz. Okay. Yes. Anybody have a carpeted staircase? This comes to a point. You do the edging of the carpet. Now, if you want to use it in the garage, you can. If you got greaser oil on the concrete, use a degreaser. Scrub the concrete. You've got the squeegee on the back to remove the excess grease and oil. Now you can rinse the broom in the sink if you want. Anybody oh, have a beds. truck? Look at the bed of the truck. See how those flaps get into those little ridges? Yes. Sweep. If you just Patios. mulched and it rained, all that mulch gets on your patio. This will get down to those little cracks and crevices on your concrete, your slate. You now, pet hair on your furniture, on your car seats. You won't find anything easier than using this to get the hair off. I'm thinking another okay. bathroom product. I know we just, you know, we did our shower and our tub with a tub and tile, but I don't know about you guys. I happen to have dark hair and a light bathroom floor. I know it always bothered my mom with three daughters who all had brown hair and then herself. You know, just simply brushing your hair, your hair falls out. So when you have white floors, you see all that brown hair. How nice to get all the hair up off the bathroom yep. floor. Yeah, and look, with that squeegee, it even does windows. Margie might like right? this. I know she wanted the gray <laughs> towels, but Marge, maybe you'll like that. Yeah, do this outside where you can't reach the higher windows. This, this will give you a reach. Now, what we're going to do next. Yeah, you gave me safety glasses. Yeah, put I wasn't those on, okay, because I'm going to intentionally break a light bulb. Actually, I'm going to break two. Let's go okay. through double duty here. Now, if, uh. you, if you're sweeping, uh, all right, with a straw broom, you would never walk on this with your bare feet. Now, I'm going to put no. this over here. I'm going to make it even worse. I'm going to crunch oh this. Oh, my goodness, John. Now, there's a thousand shards of glass all over that floor, right? Now, when I sweep this floor, I'm going to go over this area one time. I'm going to go over this area one time. Okay. Now, watch what I do next. 
There's oh, never a sliver of glass, not even in the grout lines. Perfectly clean. All the glass is back here where I swept. Those rubber tips is what gets between the grout lines on your tile. The wide flaps get even that little tiny sliver of glass. You can rinse this in the sink. It actually comes right off the handle. You can just unscrew it, rinse it under the sink. That's what the restaurants do when they get them greasy. You know, now, John, I can't help but think that was your hand. And no <laughs> offense to your hand, but you're a grown man. You've got a nice, big, strong hand. But what about little feet? who walk on those floors. What about little animal paws that walk on that floor? I wouldn't want them to get hurt. I mean, I personally don't want to get hurt, but real life accidents happen. Maybe it's a light bulb, maybe it's a kitchen yeah, now, glass. Now, do we have time for a battle of the brooms Not here? Not really, but oh. do you have like five seconds? Can you okay. do a battle of the brooms? If you have one of these, you don't get very good results trying to sweep a carpet. You just kind of blow it out of the so way. So that broom lost. Right, I got a little bit. But here, really quick here. Okay, is this an, the winner? Yeah, an area rug, a hallway rug, an entryway carpet. Use the pet brush on your furniture. This works better than the beater bar and some of the vacuums you have. You know, some things look like magic here, but I am here to tell you, we're not talking Harry Potter. We're talking about Don Aslett. <laughs> this is the real deal. That's why it was the most, well, not the most original, but the original product that the team brought to us at QVC, and it's still around today. Remember, a million sold, 50,000 in this particular item number. It's V32052. Stay on the line because already a very, very popular item, and this is the final order of the year. Snow off the car in the wintertime. I know, right? Let me um, just give you one quick reminder, too, of our brand new two-piece microfiber duster set. It's about an extra long extension pole that this has that none others do. And it's $17.98, 2,500 <laughs> orders have been spoken for. Oh, so this is something you don't see every day. My next guest is ready to clean with us. I like this. I know, right? This what? is good. I know. We like clean. Did you, did you ever think I'd be cleaning in your suede jacket, though? <laughs> did you think I'd be cleaning in suede? Yeah, right. Look at her. She's yeah. all... And he's cleaning in a suit. I can use a little okay. bit. There you go. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to drop off John oh, go. and do, join Dennis for a presentation of today's special value. So John.